Right, there we go. Nice heavy tray of all the goodies thus far. Oh, would you look at that. One hose fuel flamethrower M1 assembly. Interesting. For portable flamethrower M2-2. Interesting. Both names on it. Our typical packaging. Throw this guy back in. see what we got here. So I'm thinking, oh, it's already pretty much opened. Let's just see if we can slide her out. There we go. That's tiny. It looks a lot smaller than most of the hoses we've... That's a lot smaller. I mean, maybe when it's unra unravel, it'll probably be about that. Cut it. It's gonna be a bitch to get back. Well, well it's probably been coiled for a while, yeah, so it looks it, like it's pretty much stuck. That's about right. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is your connecting hose that would attach your wand to the tanks themselves. Under the ends? Yeah. Oh. If you want. We're already halfway there. Oh. Been, uh, been in that shape so long it doesn't want to lay flat. It's not surprising. Let's see what we got here. Damn, look at that brass. That's incredible. Just a little bit of gunk on the inside, but I mean, that's to be expected. Nice, nice paint job still there. Damn, the studs look like they're brand new. Because they are. It's 80 years brand new. New, old stock. There we go. So this is the end that would attach to the wand itself in the back. And this is your couple that would slide into the back of the tank group. Beautiful. There we have it. 80 year holds. What's the uh, marking on the hose? Uh, so let's see. No definitive markings, just like a red stripe. The ends got a MG130. That's it. Nothing. No definitive markings or distinguishable markings. Very cool piece of history. Uh, All right, so. This is the last installment of going through this service kit and opening everything up. Um, if you haven't seen the other ones, this is from 1944. It's for the M2-2 flamethrower. These are all the surplus parts that you would need. So I pulled this box out because it's too goddamn heavy and the slot is too small. So the only other thing that we didn't go over is the pressure bottle. I'm gonna show that real quick. Came with a pressure bottle. Uh, let's see the date, June of 44, and it's made by Beatty. So, yep, I showed this in the first video of me just showing, going through the, the uh, service kit, but all right, so onto this pretty heavy box, we have one pressure cylinder filling line, two pressure cylinder charging lines, one flexible hose, one valve flex shaft, and then two skein cords. Let's see if there's any markings. We have one inspection stamp from the chemical warfare. Looks like it is. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. To it. Almost forgot the most important part. The gloves. PPE. Doctor? Doctor. All right, let's get into this bad boy. All right, so the steam's kind of already started. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Oh. 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 
Why are you fighting me? This blade's getting a little dull. Treasure trove in there. Ah! Oh, we got a lot of newspapers to go through. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this is actually our favorite part. Jesus. Nothing went to waste for the war effort. Alrighty then. Look at that. I don't even know where to put this. This is getting... Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a uh, Christmas. Yeah, right? Flame throws. Yep. Oh, there's the first one. Got the skiing cords. That's the pro proper pronunciation. This is a... Uh, so we actually tie the backpack part to the flamethrower. This is the, the cords that go through it, so. Looks in great condition. Okay. Sniff oh. test. Sniff test, it smells like the 1940s. Actually, it's kind of cool that this is like a brown versus a green, which is what we think, what we have. Yeah. That's cool. It has a nice sheen to it. It does have a nice sheen. All right, the second part, what could it be? This one's not even tape. It's almost like we're uh, unpacking a tomb. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. <coughs> oh, yeah. So, this is a flex shaft. This actually connects to the pressure bottle, and when you twist it, it actually turns, it actually opens up the valve on the pressure bottle. Yeah, so if you saw it in our last, one of our last videos, I actually bring out another pressure bottle, but yeah. What else? Got more cords. Oh boy. That is not a flex shaft. Find my cutting instrument. Oh yeah. Don't want to lose that. Mmm. Okay. So this is a, uh, which we'll pull out in a sec. This is actually kind of like a flex shaft, but this is what uh, connects the two filling stations. So if you're filling off of one bottle, off of a big nitrogen bottle, you can actually connect it to another filling station so you can have two. So you don't have to use, waste a bunch of air. Oh, jeez. All right. Here we have an original 1940s filling tube. And we'll open that in a sec. I just want to get everything out so we can clear the workspace. Oh my god. There's more. <laughs> Another filling hose. Wow. Imagine the guys that had to pull this out. Yeah any more in there. Nope. Put the rat's nest back in. So we already saw the flex shaft. We saw the hose, which actually is the connector right here. So this has another ho uh, connector hose. I'm going to only open one of these guys just to see. I'm not even going to cut because I want to keep this wrapped up, but I'm just going to cut try to open up the vet, this guy right here to just show you guys what we're dealing with because I'd like to keep this coiled up as much as possible it's just a hose oh yes the wrapping for the wrapping. This is like a big boy Christmas, just opening up stuff. Ah! Okay. 